everyone. Welcome to Shasta Public Library's virtual story time. I'm Grandma Marty, and today we're going to read Kate and Nate are running late by Kate Egan and illustrated by Dan Yaccarino. We've got a lot of friends visiting with us today, so we'll see how many friends you can find in the book. Nate creeps into the darkened room. His mom is sound asleep. First he shakes her, tries to wake her. Then he takes a flying leap. It's getting late, announces Nate. Kate rolls over, rubs her eyes. She sits up straight. Oh, that's just great. Not again, Nate's mother sighs. Nate has preschool in the morning, aftercare all afternoon. Like every day, they have to rush. Kate's day at work starts soon. Kate yells, time to use the potty when she's halfway down the stairs. She starts the coffee, feeds the cat, Toast some waffles, slice some pears. Nate's not happy, nor is Maddie. That's his sister, she's eight. They hate to rush. They hate to hurry. But there's no time to hesitate. Oh my. I think we'll make it, Kate tells Nate. Please get dressed and brush your teeth. Nate's not hearing, only playing. Time to move, says Kate. Good grief. Nate eats his breakfast, clears his plate, drinks some juice, and makes his bed. Kate's in the shower for an hour, so it seems, because Nate's ahead. That means the little boy's faster than his mommy. Where's my homework? Maddie grumbles. Someone took it. Maybe you? Nate's big sister finds her folder. But her socks? She has no clue. Oh no! No socks! They're almost ready, feeling steady. Wearing coats and big backpacks, they have mittens, boots, and lunches, water bottles, healthy snacks. Then there's trouble on the double. Cats run out the open door. Maddie gets them, then she pets them. Now they're later than before. Nate says, wait, I need my bunny. Kate regards him with dismay. Just one minute, I'll be speedy. <sighs> Kate gets, gives up, that's okay. Nate runs off at lightning speed. He doesn't see the puddle. There's ice on top and Nate can't stop. <gasps> so now they're in a muddle. <laughs> Oh no! Nate falls in backwards, landing hard. Now he's wet, tears start to fall. Kate kisses him and calms him down. Even so, it's time to go. There's been a change in plan, says Kate. We need to drive instead of walk. The kids climb in, they buckle up. Their mom's too tense to talk. They squeal down streets, they round a bend. Traffic lights, it seems to Kate. Where's everyone, she wonders. Then she checks the date. <sighs> the schoolyard's empty, nothing doing, no one's lined up. Not today. No one's playing, no one's staying. That's because it's 
Saturday! <laughs> oh my, they rushed and rushed and rushed, and it was still Saturday. So thank you for joining me for the virtual story time. Remember, you can check out Kate and Nate are running late and other fun books at your library. See you later. Bye-bye.